And not only that, but the mist collectors, quality mist collectors, keep the machines happy. Like our Nakamura, for example, um, it's a big machine, we're making tiny precise parts. It has some thermal growth issues. And what we didn't realize is once we put the mist collector on it, it's sucking in cold air all the time. And our thermal growth was cut in half from a cold machine to a hot machine. And we measured this and it was like mind blowing. John, we're here to talk about AeroX Technologies and I just had to take a deep breath because your shop is so daggone clean well. here at Grismo Knives. Now John, the investment in our lungs is far more important than most of us think about in the moment. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about today, tomorrow, and years and years from now. And you've decided to make that investment. Would you like to discuss why? So we use AeroX mist collectors on every single machine down to our lapping machine and we use their blow box and everything because air quality is important. Quality of everything we do is important, whether it's tolerance or air quality or cooling quality or everything. And air is, I mean, we all breathe it. It's so important. When you go into a shop, you know it's stinky. You don't want that. Yeah, you're right. I know you and I both walked into shops where it's like moving fog out of the way. You can slice exactly. it with one of your knives probably. Yep. It's so thick. Now, that to me is not an, an inviting environment. Whereas we talk about the buzzword of labor shortage, we talk about our lungs being, you know, important to us years and years from Absolutely. now. So there's multifaceted reasons why yep. we invest. And you said precision, right? As I look around, I see a Zeiss, I see a Nakamura, I see a Tornos. Mm -hmm. There's a DMG Mori over there, there's a Kern over there. Everything about what you're doing is precision, including these knives and these pins and whatever creativity that comes next. This is all a part of the process at Grismo Knives about yep. precision, right? Yep. And you try to put it into a whole package. You know, the floors are epoxy coated, we got nice lights, we got clean air. Everything goes together. You can't have one without the other or else the package doesn't work. And not only that, but the mist collectors, quality mist collectors, keep the machines happy. Like our Nakamura, for example, um, it's a big machine, we're making tiny precise parts. It has some thermal growth issues. And what we didn't realize is once we put the mist collector on it, it's sucking in cold air all the time. And our thermal growth was cut in half from a cold machine to a hot machine. And we measured this and it was like mind blowing. So like I'm sold, like mist collectors all around. That and, is amazing. Yep. And obviously AeroX being a Canadian company, they're a couple hours north of us, huge Canadian fan. Um, I want to support local as much as I can, but now they're a global company and they're crushing it. And I'm very happy to support them in every way I can. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up as well, because I think it's important to realize that just seven years ago, they had three employees. Now they're looking at That's 35 where I got my first employees. One. Is it really seven yep. years ago? Yep. And Marcus but, was just saying, he's like, you guys have grown. And I'm like, same, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the relationship should yes. be, is that growth. Now, one of the things I think helps them stand out is the fact that as we're looking on the walls with some of these big units you have, we're talking about five years before its first maintenance is required. Yeah. We don't even and think about even it. then, you're talking about two minutes of maintenance? Filters. Uh, they're great and they have the fancy ones have a pressure gauge on them so you can just look up and be like, yeah, it's still good. That one's two years on the filter. I haven't even thought about it. Um, they suck so much air and they filter all the mist out. These machines are oil, which is not fun. And we actually went through a couple different mist, mist collectors on this Tornos machine until this big boy, the Aero 600, uh, is absolutely crushing it. And it's like no more mist collection, no more problems. We would have a fog in this building due to a bad mist collector on that machine. And now, no, now it's perfect. So between thermal expansion, between the fog, the fact that you've cleaned up everything. You don't smell it. You don't smell yeah. it at all. Uh, and I know you're kind of a misfit, just like the misfit back here yeah, making yeah. these knives, much like myself. So for the audience watching, we've obviously conveyed very powerful pieces of information saying, look, if you're not doing this, A, we want to breathe. B, it's probably some thermal expansion you could get better at that's yep. going to give you higher, higher precision. And the fact that you know, it could be everywhere around us at any time. Are there any messages that you could give the audience from a personal perspective of before having this, these type of misfits and this AeroX technologies um, filtration in your unit where you could say, look, for those of you out there who don't think it's important, here's the reason why we do believe it would be. Yeah, I mean, you don't know what you don't know. And we've, in this business 10 years, you know, we've learned so much. And the points I already covered, I mean, like on the Nakamura, when you open the door for a minute to change out a part, the machine's now colder because all that steam, the jungle came out and now your next part's out of tolerance. And having in sucking in the cold air is huge. John, uh, I heard this little rumor about a blow box that has been created. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us more about what this is? So on our Mori machine, um, whenever we change parts, we open the door, we unclamp parts, we blow them off, the machine's not running, it's like an hour setup, change parts, change out. 
Uh, now we're all talking about zero point fixturing, fast change, you know, in, out, door closed, go. So then you have all these parts on your bench. What do you do with them? There's chips, there's coolant, there's everything. Where do you blow them off to? It's nice to blow them back into the machine, but the machine's running because you're trying to make money. So now it's on your bench. So we worked with AeroX to develop their newest product, the Blowbox, which is a, a HEPA filtered mist collector standalone on your bench where you can blow all the junk into and it, it sucks out the clean air. Like, it's great. John, like you mentioned, we're all talking about these quick change situations and some form of automation, whether it's some sort of, whether we're talking about the work holding side of things or just anything we could do to be more productive, right? And you're so right. Immediately we think maybe there's a fan on the inside that's gonna blow out some of the chips that goes through a tool holder. But that's gonna take an extra step of the process. Or maybe we open the doors and we're blowing it all off. That's an extra 30 seconds to a minute and a half we're blowing it all off. What you've just described to me is that next evolution from the filtration side of things yep. to collect the chips Absolutely. and allow you to do more and keep the machine I mean, it's all about keeping those chips cutting, right? All, all about yep. keeping the machine tools spinning. Because as business owners, when we invest hundreds of thousands or more into these equipment, you want it to run, so then you want to be able to load offline. It's super duper critical. You pull dirty parts off the machine, there's coolant and chips, they have to go somewhere. And I got sick of wiping them off and like, it wasn't good enough. So I talked to Marcus at AeroX and I was like, bro, we gotta, we gotta work on something. Here's a prototype. So we built a sheet metal prototype with like, do this and they absolutely killed it. They took that concept, that idea, and they just created magic with it. And now they're selling this product and it's fantastic. Another piece of greatness that comes from the precision of your mind right. and the creativity of AeroX yep. and them being right up the street to partner with you. Exactly. Hey John, something I want to bring up, and this is just kind of fun for our last little point here. Have you ever opened one of the machines prior to one of these setups and all of it just goes right into your yep. face? And you I get into your face. Yeah, exactly. No more of that for me. <laughs> no more of that for John, no more of that for Grismo, no more of that for me either. Yep. And that's how we'll end this conversation today. Thank you all for watching. This is AeroX Technologies. This is Grismo Knives. This is a very famous John Grismo. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've now realized for the shops I've walked into where I am filming and would like to breathe better why we're doing this today with John and Grismo. Thank there you, you so much, my friend. I do appreciate Thanks, it. Man.